In 2013, Robert Gleeson won the Irish Greyhound Derby at the age of just 25 years of age, making him one of the youngest Greyhound trainers to ever win Ireland's most famous race. Ten years on, Gleeson has got a very strong team as he bids to double up in Ireland's Premier Classic. So we've come to his Ratangan Kennels in County Kildare to get the latest on the Robert Gleeson Derby team for 2023. Right, well, we're in Robert Gleeson's kennels to talk about his derby team. And, and let's start with the Greyhound, I suppose, shortest in the betting of yours, Rob. Optic Chico, only nine runs to date, but there's already plenty of people talking about this lad. Yeah, he started off his career in um, in Escorty, in the future champion. And uh, he was second. He won the first time, 28-50, it was a great run. And he got knocked out in the semi-final and then we gave him a break and went to Clonmel and he fell in Clonmel in the Proger Stakes semi-final. But he probably really, when he went to Shelburne and he got into the big galloping track, he showed his pace. And uh, he was runner-up in the champion, champion plate. plate. Yeah, yeah um, bit of short head, but he made up a lot of ground. No, he's a good dog. He's a pacey dog. And he's like a dog that you think, the style mm. of running, he'd be well able to go a couple of rounds in the derby. Mm. And obviously the fact that you threw him in tennis scoring in the produce stakes, from, a, from an early sign, did you think he was going to be above average? Yeah, a good friend of mine, David Hanlon. Well, another good friend of mine, Keith Duffy, he bred him. Yeah. I trained his mother for him. And um, David bought him as a pup. And he schooled him and reared him. And uh, he was always at me. I wouldn't buy a dog off him. Hmm. But I said, sure, look, when you get the right one, yeah. I'd, I'd be interested. But anyway, he, he tried him one day in Newbridge in a sprint and he went very well in that. And I told him to keep me informed and he did. And he, he didn't... One day he brought him over in 28, 46 or 47. So we decided to buy him then and we went on to Enniscorty and that. But it was kind of after Enniscorty, I brought him in one day to Newbridge and I gave him a handstep, 400 yard handstep as we call it, mm. in Newbridge. And he flew. He absolutely flew on the clocks. Mm. And we knew then that he was. You know what I mean, he was really, he was going to be, you know what I mean, a potential derby dog. Yeah, and speaking of flying, the, the night, the last night behind Bally McWalt in Shelburne from halfway, there's still people talking about that run. Yeah, he did, and and he he was a bit, he's minding himself a little bit around the first two bends. I don't know whether it was the fall in Clonmel or what it was, you know what I mean, but he's still a little bit sketchy or whatever, but he, he's learning, and... Um, he took off that night down the back straight and he did make up a lot of ground but no no we're, we're happy with him and he seemed to come out with that run well and all systems going out for the derby only nine runs is the best still to come I think it is and I think he'll be even better when he goes up to 575 so anyway we'll try and get the derby out of the way first Right, well, we're continuing to chat about the Robert Gleeson Derby team, and there's not going to be too many faster females in this year's Derby, Rob, than, than this lady up the style. No, she she has great early pace, um, real good top class early pace. I know she overall she's a good bitch. She's she's been lucky. She's won the come for cakes and that, but she's been lucky too. She just got bet there at the weekend in the final in Cork and she just put her foot in the boxes but she's a habit of doing that. She's a habit of just kind of pawing at the bars and some nights she doesn't do and some nights she does. But um, no, she came out with it well and um, all systems go too for the derby. Yeah, you started her off in Newbridge. Not many dogs managed to win an unrace final by 19 lengths is what she did. No, she didn't and, and she was actually only coming over season right. uh, when her, in her first round. I think she won 28.50, but um, no, she, she from day one she was good. Her sprints were very good in Newbridge, and um, no, she's she's a member of a very good litter too. Yeah, and as you said, then to go on and win the Comfort Cakes, the National Puppy in, in, in Shelburne takes some doing. Does yeah, and uh, she she went up to Shelburne. She's in the final the Puppy Puppy Oaks before that too. Yeah. But same thing again. She was a pawn at the traps in the in in in, in the final. But um, no, no, she's a very good bitch and. It's great to have her. Yeah. Plenty of positives to take out of the Shelley Fenley, most notably doing the fastest run of the year in Cork in the second in the semi finals. Yeah, she flew in the semi final. And you're kinda of you're in a, doing them runs in the semi final yeah. is it's great to have her, but mm. ah, look, she she is she's she's a very good bitch in her trial, so she's in twenty eight or nine first look at in the trial. Mm. Um no no she's an exceptional bitch and she's on 
be two great lads and Pat and Alan Dobbs. Yeah, talk to us about them. Obviously, Pat, a jockey, plenty know him. Plenty seem to know Alan as well. How did it come about? I came about. I was in Waterford one night, and I, I would know Alan a long time. You know yeah. what I mean? Like not know him, but yeah. I've gone to Ennis Garty years ago. I used to be the dogs in Ennis Garty, you know. But um, it just one night I was in Waterford. I think he had a runner, Benny McBeany, and I had a long thing anyway. And uh, he just said to me, "Look," he said, "We have a bitch to the bar matches," and. She'd done a good hand slip or something, would it be interesting to take her? I said it would, so we just started off like that. And I have a couple of dogs there now for them, and we've been lucky so so far, and yeah. Yeah, they're lucky owners. Your dad thinks the world of her. Will she get the 550 in Shelburne? I think she will. I think she will, but she'll probably have to be on the hair mm. to get it, yeah. like a lot of them, but. I definitely think she will get to 550. She'll run in a race anyway bef yeah. the week before just to get her used to the traps. Mm. And um, if, I think she'll get, she should because her mother stayed 550 and her father, sure, he stayed 550. Now I know it doesn't always go that way, yeah. but uh, I be, she's old enough now anyway to go into it. Yeah. So there should be no excuses. And can she be another Susie Sapphire? I hope she is another Susie Sapphire. She was an exceptional bitch, but no, she's good early. She has, she has the early pace what you want for the derby so we'll just try and keep her right and hopefully the last 25 yards she'll be able to get home well, There's going to be plenty of promising youngsters running it in this year's Irish Greyhound Derby none more so than, than Carrick Fergie Rob, Kilkenny on race, winner that pretty much says it all up to now Yeah, he ran very well I think he won 3 out of the 4 rounds in Kilkenny in 28-57 in the semi-final uh, No, fast dog, going locally here by Thomas Glynn Um He's well bred, the road is wildcat or would droopy zero. But uh no he he's 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 a good dog and hopefully he'll keep improving. That Kilkenny Autumn race always stands up, you know, down the line. And this year in particular, a lot of people thought it was as good a renewal as we've had. It was, yeah. Some and the dogs had to know coming out that they haven't even got to the final mm. ran in the got knocked out or all after winning. So yeah. it does look to be turned out to be a good unrace, race, yeah. Mm. How will Shelburne suit this lad? I think Shelburne will suit him because he's, he's a railer and uh, he wouldn't be the sharpest out of the box at the minute. He wouldn't be. But um, he he has great early when he hits the ground. Like, right. So he just needs to learn how to break a bit better. But um, no, I think Shelburne will, will suit him. Yeah. What else might you run in the derby that we haven't talked about? Two maker Royal might be because he he's come back from an injury and Troopies Edison he he was going going very well and picked up an injury in, in a trial as well so he, I wouldn't say he'll make it no it's, yeah. there's no point saying he will okay and Troopies flight line you've got one eye on the juvenile derby with him yeah he's uh, gearing towards the puppy derby and um, everything's good with him since Cork and uh, we've might we have a few pups running in the unrest mm. this week in Shelburne so. Hopefully they'll join him. Yeah. But this lad, if he takes to Shelburne, might have a big chance. He would, yeah. I wouldn't put anyone off having a favourite train him.